Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. If this is your first time here, what we do is we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer. We read what's on the label and we crack it open and see if it meets expectations. All right. Well, <clears throat> if you enjoy these types of programming, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. And don't forget, leave some comments down there, especially about this one. I'd appreciate it. All right. For those of you who have been here before, here we go. What we do is we take a look. And this is from the Trogs Brewing Company, Independent Brewing. They're Nimble Giant, a double India pale ale. There it is. And <clears throat> as I understand it, this is a seasonal one from these folks. I'll have all of the information in the description box below. Handcrafted by the Trogs Brothers. And we have 9% volume uh, ABV. There are uh, says to be served in a chalice. Well, we always use these here beer glasses, this style of beer glass, because it allows all of the beers to have an even footing when it comes to looking through them and aromas. Okay. Uh, it says color deep orange. One pint, it's once a year. The hops are Azaka, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Without sway, there can be no balance. Our double, I, our double IPA gracefully boasts grapefruit rind, pineapple, and honeysuckle notes with a hint of earthy forest floor. Behold the wonder. <laughs> All right. Well, as you can tell by the, the look of the uh, moisture on the can, it is a humid day here in Brooklyn. All right. There's one more thing we do here, is we always take the uh, temperature of our beer. Uh, I use a uh, thermopen here. Uh, there's a link down in the description box. And what we like to do is to have the, our um, lagers are around, say, 40 to 45 degrees is, uh, in uh, uh, Fahrenheit, and the ales would be 50 to 55 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And one other thing, what we do when we most people do uh, their tastings it is they see, they sniff, they sip, and then they speak. Well, what we do is we see, we sip, then we sniff and speak. Why? I'll let Master Sommelier Fred Dex explain it all to you. All right. They've already told us pretty much what to expect here. Uh, grapefruit and pineapple and some honeysuckle with some earthy types of flavors. So let's crack this open and see if it meets expectations. <coughs> I must say that the good folks from, Stro uh, from uh, Trogues uh, sent this to me, so <coughs> thank them very much. Okay. Oh, nice crystal clear beer. Oh, that pours a good head. Yes. Yeah, let's see here. An India Pale Ale. That certainly fits the profile there. Amber. Good fermentation. Nice steady head on that. All right. Well, cheers. Oh, I'm getting the grapefruit rind right up there. I would have guessed Cascade myself, but nope, but whoa. It, it, it's, it's different than Cascade and it, this is, is the rind type of, it's, it's the, the essence of it, not the whole pithy thing, uh, but uh, this is the, the essence of it. Passion fruit, I don't know. Let's see if the honeysuckle comes up in the aroma. That's an indistinct aroma. There's not too much there. Um, one more swig and let's see if we can find that honeysuckle.
yeah. In the aspiration to kind of whisk in some air over your tongue, you'll find it. And it, it's interesting because it's not overpowered by the uh, by the grapefruit. All right, well, does Chugs Nimble Giant IPA meet expectations? It certainly does. I'm Pete Lawrence, the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.